guys, uh, this is Tech Extreme, and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can create a Windows 10 USB from your M1 Mac. So if you have an M1 Mac right now, you, it's it's very hard to get, you know, a Windows 10 bootable USB. And that's simply because um, different uh, packages required can difficult to acquire if you have an M1 because they might not be supported. So here I have a way of getting that done and yes it is through Windows 10 but hear me out it's um at the moment it's free um and you can do it on your M1 Mac which means you don't have to outsource a Windows PC to do this. So what I suggest is you get this program it's called Parallels. Parallels is well known um, for, you know, Windows virtualization, but in this case, um, we're using a beta version, and that's because there isn't um, a stable version of Parallels for the M1 chip yet, as the M1 chip is new, but we have this, which is good enough. So if you sign up, you will go to a page, and you will download it. You'll download the program, it will give you a key that you'll have to use to activate it, it's all free of charge, it's you basically testing this out for them, but you're going to benefit because you'll be able to use the program in order to make your USB. Um, and then I have another page. Now, I'm not signed in, but it says you have to be a member of the Windows Insider program. All that is, is um, on your Microsoft accounts, you sign into the Windows Insider on the Microsoft site, and basically you're able to download a uh, image, a virtual image of the ARM version of Windows. This is important because the M1 chip is not um, x86, um, it's ARM. So you need to download this in order for the, you know, the virtual machine to run. Then I would suggest also having a copy of Windows 10 ISO, just download it on your Mac, have it ready. And then also Rufus. I do like Rufus, not just because it seems to be an Irish program, but also it's um low in um in like file size and it just works with pretty much most operating systems. So this doesn't even have to apply to Windows. It can apply to other operating systems as well, but Windows is one that I'll I'll be focusing on here. Once you have everything downloaded, open up the program as I have here. You'll go through um, basically about 30 minutes of getting the um, Windows 10 booted up and all of that. And once that's done, what I do suggest doing is I would actually go up into... Is it Actions? Yeah, it's Actions and clicking on Install Parallels Tools. Let that install and you're basically done you'll restart the machine and you'll get access to all your files here as I do here you can then access you know what you need so for me it will be the um, Rufus application it runs perfectly here as you can see runs fine which is good um, oh yeah also one more thing actually when you're up here when you connect to USB You'll go into devices, USB and Bluetooth, and you'll select it here and connect up so that you can use it because on Mac OS, you can't format it as NTFS or any of that. You have to have specific um, software to do that. So this is just handy. Um, so you'll select your device, you'll select your ISO also, you go in, scroll to your downloads, select it here. And then you just press start and it should be done for you in 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Then you can use that to boot up on your um, Windows PC if you want to reinstall it. Unfortunately, as for now, you can't actually install Windows onto your M1 like permanently because there isn't an ISO for it. Perhaps there's a way to um, do it, but... I do not know that way right now, I haven't looked it up. But that's basically all you have to do in order to get basically Windows running here in order to make your ISO because 
it can definitely be a hassle even with an Intel Mac to even just get an inst like a bootable USB for Windows going. There are ways to do it. I've tried them. It didn't work for me personally, so I found this to be more effective. Boot up straight away on my uncle's laptop to install Windows. So I can only, you know, talk about my own experience. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this um, tutorial on how to get um, a Windows USB, um, please do subscribe um, and give it a like. Also, one more thing actually with Rufus, if you have the Windows USB on here, you can also select Windows to go if that's what you want to do and just have a portable Windows USB with you at all times because that's handy. Um, so yeah, that's the video. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, I guess thumbs down. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.